Investing in the stock market might sound complicated, might sound like gambling, risky, but there are ways to make it easier. That's right. Financial instructor Michael Mazarin from the Retirement Education Foundation here to share the basics of investing, tips for beginners. And Michael, it feels like investing can be so overwhelming for people. They hear the words uh, index funds, stocks. They probably, many of them don't even know what that means. Where do you start? So like you said, when people think about investing and they haven't done their toes in yet. A lot of people think about what they've seen on the news or in movies, the stock exchange floor and all the complicated computers mm. and screens. It really doesn't have to be that complicated and we can start small. And with, with investing, this is tough for a lot of people, but really the best way to start is start simple and keep it simple. It does not have to be complicated. Invest in index funds, which are a basket of a lot of stocks put together, so you're diversified automatically. Invest in index funds, keep dollar cost averaging, keep investing every two weeks with your 401k, or keep investing once a week as you're getting paid. It's not rocket science, it really, really isn't. So, you know, and when you break it down, let me just simplify it, let me just take you back one step. So you're really just buying into companies that maybe and you don't have to do a bunch of research and try and predict the market. Nobody can do that, right? Please don't, don't because do no one can do it. I don't, You're not trying to do that. I don't, I'm not, not trying to hurt anyone's feelings here, but a lot of people think they have a system or an algorithm or a technique. There are firms on Wall Street worth billions and billions and billions of dollars, and they can't beat the market. So if we're at home thinking that we cracked some code, we haven't. Trust me, just buy the index and call it a day. And the index is... Uh, a uh, group of uh, companies. So the index, so there are a couple of famous indexes. Let's let's use the S&P 500. Mm -hmm. S&P 500 is probably the most well-known index. It is the largest 500 companies in the United States economy, public comp companies in the, in the economy. So you're getting broad exposure to all the big companies, Apple, Nvidia, Johnson Johnson, Walt Disney, Target, all the big companies. Just you buy one index fund, you have exposure to all 500 companies, and yes, there will be bumps along the way, but if you look at any long-term stock chart of an index fund, the, it, you're going to grow the money over time. Mm -hmm. and, and That's the key is time. Absolutely. And if you are a beginner, um, I don't want to put any stockbrokers or investment uh, people out of business, but there are simple ways and websites that you can go to and just open up. Absolutely. You know. So, you know, the three biggest custodians, you know, Fidelity, Schwab, Vanguard, they're all great. They all have their different pros and cons, but they're all they're all fine. Mm -hmm. You can open an account in 10 minutes and, you know, start connected to your bank account and start investing. And again, people might get the itch. Once they start investing, they might get the itch to say, oh, well, that stock was up really, mm -hmm. was up a lot last month, or, oh, this stock is down, mm -hmm. and I think it might bounce back. Don't Avoid do that. that. Avoid <laughs> that. Don't even look at it. No, once, once you get a solid foundation going with your index funds, if you want to take a small slice of fund money and go start trying to pick stocks, a small slice, you can, but get the foundation built first with the index funds. Is there a percentage, sorry, Dean, is there a percentage that, you know, for a, be a beginner, let's just, just for a round number, say making a thousand dollars a month, uh, what, is, is there a, um, is there a percent number that you should invest so the 15 percent from in the 401k mm -hmm. is a really good starting place mm -hmm. if we're doing 15 percent in the 401k that's fantastic and mm -hmm. that can go into index funds almost every 401k whatever company you're with almost every 401k in the country these days has index funds that you can be investing in mm -hmm. and if you're doing 15 percent of the 401k and can do more outside that that's fantastic it's great so michael are you if if you work at a place that's got the 401k and you're maxing your contribution are you also trying to independently invest in an index fund on your own or <laughs> Is it enough to be in the 401k? So just doing the 401k is a really, really good head start. If you're able to save 15% to your 401k or even max out the 401k and still save more, you're a rock star. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. That should be the goal. Not everyone can get there, but baby steps will get you a long way. Yeah, and good. don't miss out on the, don't let your fear keep you, preclude you from uh, investing in the stock market because you're missing out uh, historically. You know, uh, and, and people, so, you know, the market's at an all-time high or very darn close yeah. to it right now. People think, I'm going to wait for a crash. No, mm -hmm. don't, you're, because you're going to wait for a crash, it's going to crash, and it's going to fall because something scary is happening. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to say, well, I can't start investing now. Something scary is happening. It, it's the psychology. Yeah, Just start now, and, tr and you're going to win in the long run. Very good. Michael, we'll see you next, next hour. hour. Sounds good.